side by side in the fight against ovarian cancer and a world apart on how best to keep the borders secure. Australia is strong enough to treat people humanely. He has led this process to weaken and compromise our borders. On the heels of its historic loss in the lower house, today the government lost again in the Senate. Eyes 36, nose 34. And that writes a law to set up a doctor's panel to decide which asylum seekers have medical grounds for being transferred from offshore detention for treatment in Australia. It's a foolish law. Labor argues it's limited to those already in detention and doesn't weaken the government's hand. Any minister has the discretion to say no. And Bill Shorten has recommitted Labor to tough border security. Whatever they need, they will get under us. But the Coalition's casting this law as a crisis. The Home Affairs Minister paid an early morning visit to Border Force HQ before joining a national security meeting which pledged more cash for border protection and reopening the Christmas Island detention centre. My job now is is to ensure that the boats don't come. This government is addicted to scaring people about boats. Today was telling because Labor might have picked this fight, but it's the coalition that wants the brawl. If they had such a big win last night on border protection, why not a single question on it today? To anyone who thinks they should get on a boat, I'm here and I will stop you. This is the national security battle the coalition was desperate to have. Chris Yulman, Nine News. And the Nine Network's Renee Henry is in Indonesia for us where the Australian government says there are up to 14,000 asylum seekers waiting for our border security to ease. Renee, is the Prime Minister right? Could this see the people smuggling trade start up again? Well, Pete, an Australian government source says those thousands of people are just waiting for the smallest of opportunities to get to Australia. Also adding that since 2013, the Australian government has helped Indonesian authorities in intercepting 53 attempts to smuggle people into Australia. Bill Shorten and Labor insist that this will not see our borders weakened, instead calling it a scare campaign by Mr Morrison. Will the Medivac bill be enough to see people risking their lives in order to seek asylum? Well, I'll be catching up with those refugees in coming days. Pete. OK, Renee, thank you.